hydroelectric energy. What is hydroelectric energy? Well, hydroelectricity is the generation of electricity through the capturing of kinetic energy that comes from moving water. The most common approaches to generating hydroelectricity are run of the river and tidal energy. Hydroelectric power plants capture the kinetic energy and use it to turn a turbine. The amount of electricity generated depends on the flow rate and the vertical distance. In run of the river hydroelectricity generation, water is retained behind a low dam and it runs through a channel before returning to the river. They do not store water. Advantages of run of the river generation include very little flooding occurs upstream and seasonal changes in river flow are not disrupted. Disadvantages of run in the river generation, usually they're uh, pretty small dams and they don't really generate very much electricity. The uh, next type of hydroelectricity generation that I'm going to cover is water impoundment. And water impoundment is storage of water in a reservoir behind a dam. This is the most common form of hydroelectric generation. The advantages of water impoundment as a means of hydroelectric energy generation is that the dam can be controlled with gates and the dam operators will determine the flow rate of water, therefore controlling the amount of electricity that can be generated. Tidal systems. Tidal energy is the name given to the hydroelectricity produced by ocean tides. Sometimes people like to call this moon energy because the tides are controlled by the moon's gravity. The advantages of tidal energy uh, include that it is sustainable and it works when there's low tides and when high tides. The disadvantages would include that it does not really provide sufficient kinetic energy to produce a very large amount of electricity. So once again, infrastructure can be costly and the production of electricity is minimal. Also, infrastructure may cause disruption on coastlines. Case study. We're going to talk about the Hoover Dam. Um, the Hoover Dam was once known as Boulder Dam, and the Hoover Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon on the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada. The Hoover Dam is 726.4 feet high, 1,244 feet wide, 660 feet thick at the base, 45 feet thick at the top, and the Hoover Dam cost approximately $165 million to build. It took 4.5 years to build and contains 17 generators and produces 41 billion kilowatt hours every year. Now 56% of this energy goes to California, 25% goes to Nevada, and 19% goes to Arizona. It contains 10 acres of floor space, and at the time of its building in 1935 by President Franklin Roosevelt, it was the highest dam ever built, and it was the largest of its kind. Very colossal. Now it currently stands as the 18th highest in the world. Is hydroelectricity sustainable? Major hydroelectric dam projects have brought renewable energy to many countries, including the US, Canada, India, China, Brazil, and Egypt. They are expensive to build, but once built, they require a minimal amount of fossil fuel. Benefits can generate large quantities of electricity without creating air pollution, waste products, or CO2 emissions. Electricity generated in this fashion is less expensive for the consumer than the generated than that generated by nuclear fuels or natural gas. 
Um, reservoirs behind a hydroelectric dam can provide recreational and economic opportunities as well as downstream flood control for flood prone areas. Um, water impoundment has negative environmental consequences. A free flowing river must be held back for water impoundment. Um, the reservoirs may flood hundreds of thousands of hectares of agricultural lands or canyons that have great aesthetic and archaeological other consequences include the release of greenhouse gases both during dam construction and after filling the reservoir. Production of cement is responsible for approximately 5% of global anthropo anthropogenic CO2 emissions to the atmosphere. Siltation. The accumulation of sediments in reservoirs has negative consequences not only for the environment but also for the electricity generating capacity of hydroelectric dams. Over time, as the reservoir fills up with sediments, the amount of water that can be impounded and thus the generating capacity and lifespan of the dam is reduced. The only way to reverse the siltation process is by dredging. Dredging is the removal of the sediment, usually with machinery that runs on fossil fuels. Because of these concerns or heavy siltation, a number of hydroelectric dams are being dismantled. your heart